If you have been diagnosed with breast cancer, you may have a surgeon and an oncologist. But what is the difference? Don't they both treat cancer? So when someone finds a lump or has an abnormal mammogram, for example, they usually see a breast specialist to take a closer look. This is where I, as a breast surgeon, come in. After reviewing the findings together with the radiologist, we may recommend you have a biopsy of this area. Now, if the biopsy confirms breast cancer, I typically become one of the key members of the patient's care team. As a breast surgeon, my role is to plan and perform any surgical procedures that is needed to remove the cancer, like a lumpectomy, where we remove just the tumor, or a mastectomy, where we remove all of the breast tissue. A breast surgeon goes through extensive training, including medical school, a general surgery residence, and often additional fellowship training in breast surgery. This pathway can take anywhere from 10 to 13 years in total after medical school. Yep, yeah, that's after medical school. And this training equips us not only with the technical skills needed for surgery, but also with a deep understanding of breast cancer biology so we can make informed surgical recommendations. Unfortunately, surgery alone often isn't enough to treat breast cancer fully. And this is where oncologists come in. Oncologists specialize in treating cancer using non-surgical ways, methods, like medications or radiation. Now, the first type of oncologist we're going to talk about is a medical oncologist. So after surgery, a medical oncologist determines if additional treatments are needed to lower the risk of the cancer coming back. In fact, medical oncologists may also treat the cancer before surgery. It really does depend on the type of cancer it is. These treatments can include chemotherapy, hormone therapy or targeted treatment, which will work through the body to kill or control cancer cells that may be lurking around. The training path of a medical oncologist is the same. You have to go through medical school and then through residency, followed by specialized training in oncology. And this training equips them with expertise in cancer biology, pharmacology, and personalized treatment planning. And like a surgeon, their training can also take 10 years or more. The other type of oncologist you might need is a radiation oncologist. Unlike medical oncologists who treat cancer with medications, radiation oncologists specialize in using targeted high energy rays to destroy any remaining cancer cells directly in the breast or the chest wall, as well as lymph node areas. Radiation therapy is typically recommended after surgery to help reduce the risk of the cancer coming back. Radiation oncologists also undergo years of specialized training, again starting with medical school then completing residency. Their training includes an in-depth focus on the physics of radiation, as well as imaging techniques that help pinpoint and treat cancer cells while sparing as much healthy tissue as possible. So a breast surgeon like me focuses on removing the cancer surgically. Medical oncologists step in either before or after surgery to use medications that work throughout the body while radiation oncologists focus on treating the cancer with precise radiation therapy. And each of us has specialized training to play our part in your care. And together we work as a team to deliver the most effective treatment possible. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next one.